this is, this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another edition of 3D Boxing Podcast. I uh, wanted to do a real quick show, give you my uh, thoughts and opinions on this uh, Terrence Crawford uh, versus Keith Thurman beef, who's ducking who. Um, according to Brian McN- uh, McIntyre Bomac, uh, Terrence Crawford's trainer, Keith Thurman has uh, demanded $10 million for the fight. Um. Obviously, that's a lot. Obviously, he's not going to get $10 million uh, guaranteed. It's a negotiation. This is how negotiations work. I go high, you go low, and then we meet in the middle. Uh, if anyone's ever been part of negotiations, if you've ever negotiated the price of anything, you know, with a meaningful dollar amount, um, you know how the game is played. Uh, do I think that, He's married to, stuck to $10 million. Oh, but that's the beginning of negotiations. Um, I think that it's a real offer. And I think it's 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 legitimate. Uh, and we go from there. He's not expecting to get that, right? But it's not a crazy, unheard of sum of money that ends the discussion, right? Like if you go in and you're making a hundred grand a year, and you say, I want a hundred million dollars to your boss, that's the end of the discussion. I mean, there's no discussion. The conversation is over. If you say, I want 150, okay, now we have a conversation. Now we have something to talk about, right? Now, you might not expect to get 150, but we have somewhere to negotiate from. Um, so I don't think that $10 million up front is, a, is an unreasonable start to negotiation. Now, I also wanted to say this. Um, when Terrence, it's just three years ago now, Terrence Crawford was an uh, undisputed 140-pound uh, champ. Um, that was three years ago when he knocked uh, out in Dango with that body shot. Um, and he said he was going up to 147. Keith Thurman uh, said, what had he done? He, there was nothing he did to deserve a shot at Keith Thurman's belt. Errol Spence told him to go get a belt off a horn, you know, at that particular time. Um, so Thurman had was not eager to fight Crawford when Crawford didn't have a belt. Now Thurman doesn't have a belt, and he wants to fight Crawford. Um, and I said back then that that was probably Thurman ducking Crawford, okay? There was no reason not to fight Crawford. Crawford was a drug. Crawford was the pound-for-pound pound king at the time. Um, it was a big fight. Keith Thurman didn't want the fight. Um, and I said that was a duck from Thurman's part. And now I'm going to be intellectually consistent. Uh, I'm going to say Crawford saying that he's not interested in fighting Thurman because Thurman's not the man is a duck. Look, um, the, the, the two other big names in that fight, Pacquiao's not fighting you, and we'll get into that later. And Errol Spence is busy with Danny Garcia. So both a Spence and a Garcia fight are, are tabled at the moment. So if you want to fight, th- that leaves two top names. That leaves Sean Porter, who you don't want to fight because he's your buddy, and Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman is now the best name he can fight. It's the best name, the best fight, and the most lucrative fight. Look, um, Keith Thurman's done one pay-per-view against Manny Pacquiao. It did 500000 Terrence Crawford has done two pay-per-views, Postal and uh, Amir Khan. He's done 200. So he has 200,000 pay-per-views right? combined, right? 50,000 and 150 against Khan. So that's 200,000 pay-per-views and two pay-per-views. That's not half of what Thurman did in his... And I understand. Thurman played the B-side. I get it. Right? But he still did those numbers. Um, Crawford d- didn't. Uh, Thurman has done massive ratings. He did 4 million uh, views, 4 million live viewers uh, for the Danny Garcia unification fight. Keith Thurman's a draw. He's a bigger draw than Crawford. A 50-50 split is reasonable. If if Crawford can get a split in his favor, which I think he may be able to, maybe 55-45, he should take the fight, okay? It's a pay-per-view fight. Have him come over to ESPN. ESPN doesn't have to pay out of pocket. They'll offset the cost with the pay-per-view. And it, it look, like it, it's the most lucrative fight of Crawford's career. 
and it's the best fight of his career. It's and I'm not one who bashes Crawford's resume. I'm, look, I'm a Crawford fan. Uh, I had Crawford number one on my pound for pound list from the moment Andre Ward retired to just recently, right after the uh, post uh, not the post office, but after the uh, Mean Machine fight, I dropped him up number one, put, uh, and I put Canelo at number one. But I, I, I'm a Crawford. And anyone who listens to the show, any, anyone who listens to MCR podcast knows I'm a big Crawford fan. So I'm not I'm not hating on Bud. I still think Bud beats Keith Thurman. But this is kind of a duck. And it does look, is he gonna end up fighting Kel Brook? That's a fight no one wants to see. Right? Keith Thurman's a fight everyone wants to see. So make the Keith Thurman fight. He, he Keith Thurman said he'll sign the contract and it's send him a contract for five million dollars plus uh a cut of the pay per view revenue. If he walks away from it, he's not serious. Okay? Now, maybe he'll t- negotiate six or seven, and that's all reasonable, right? But send him a contract back for a five and a cut of the pay-per-view. And if he signs on Instagram, we got to fight. None of that's unreasonable. Look, you have a guy that just did half a million pay-per-view buys. People know Keith Thurman. People like Keith Thurman. People hate Keith Thurman. Whatever. People will buy his fight. And this is the B-side that Crawford needs. It's the name on his resume that Crawford needs. Um, he's not getting Pacquiao. Pacquiao didn't want to fight him for years when they were on top rank, and Danny Garcia and, and, and Errol Spence are busy, so that fight's not going to happen. This is the fight he needs. This is a makeable fight. Um, I, I don't – look, three years ago, when Terrence Crawford unified, 140, today's 147, you had Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, who was the new kid on the block, and Keith Thurman, who had unified uh, with Danny Garcia. You had these three guys. And I thought you were going to have this, you know, this triangle of guys that I thought you could have uh, Thurman, who would beat Spence, but Spence would beat Crawford, and Crawford would beat Thurman. So, I mean, this was just going to be a a, a big circle, and no one would really know who the best welterweight was because they could all beat each other, right? Stylistically, I said, okay, uh, Thurman has the power and the athleticism to keep Spence just from walking in on him. I think Thurman can beat him. I think Croft, I, I think Spence gets inside and bullies Crawford. I think Crawford outboxes Thurman, right? So there isn't one best. They all beat each other, right? Um, so we wouldn't, you know, even after having a all fight, there would still be questions on who was the best welterweight. We're three years past that now, and none of them have fought each other. We've had no permutation of those Crawford, Thurman, um, and Spence fighting each other. That is unbelievable. Three years, we haven't gotten it. Now we have a chance to get one of them. And it falls on Terrence Crawford. If Terrence Crawford beats Keith Thurman, he's worked with PBC, and now let's get a Spence fight. And you know, look, look, I don't know what Pacquiao is doing. I don't know if Pacquiao is going to take a meaningful fight again. Pacquiao's got the scalp he wants. He's got this new era of welterweights. He beat Keith Thurman. I don't know that he's ever going to. And God bless him, whatever he wants to do, right? He's 41 years old. He wants to fight Mayweather. I don't know what he wants to do. I don't think he's going to be fighting Spence, Crawford, or Thurman again for that matter. But we'll see. So let's put Pacquiao on the shelf for just a moment. Let's talk about the other three, right? If Crawford beats Thurman, the next logical fight is Errol Spence. It gets you close to that fight, right? So get this fight signed. Look, if Keith Thurman won't back off the $10 million, if he's stuck on $10 million, like, and I'm not saying he is or he is, I have no idea. But if Brian McIntyre is correct, if Bo Max is correct on this, then the fight won't get made and it's on Thurman. Thurman if Thurman won't budge off a $10 million guaranteed purse, then the fight's not going to happen. But if he does, which he will, because he's a businessman, he wants the fight. And Keith Thurman's at the point now, I think he's 32 years old, 31 or 32. He wants to be a legendary welterweight. He needs to, he's got good wins. Crawford's a great win. He's got Porter. He's got Colazzo. He's got Garcia. He's got good names on his resume. He does. He's got a really good resume, Keith Thurman. He doesn't have Terrence Crawford on it, and that's what he needs. He needs Crawford or Spence. He didn't get Pacquiao, so he needs one of the other two. Um, Crawford's there. Thurman knows it. Thurman wants to, this is a legacy fight and it's a, it's a cash fight. It, it's a big money fight for Thurman. It's the same thing for Crawford. It's the biggest money fight you can get. And it's the best name you can get until you can get Errol Spence in the ring, which maybe will happen in 2021. Who knows? But until now, Keith Thurman's the name that you need. 
it's a fight that is intriguing. It's a fight that people will pick Thurman based off your last performance card because your last performance was the worst I'd ever seen. And I'm a big fan of yours. It, I had your number one of my pound for pound list that, that I dropped your number four. It was that bad. You you arguably got dropped and lost the first three rounds to Mean Machine. Okay? Um, and, and that's not just in my eyes, right? You, you, you're you 33 now? I mean, maybe or, or you'll be 33 soon. Like, maybe your best days are behind you. If they're not, prove it and beat up a Keith Thurman. If he beats Keith Thurman, he's the number one Walter Waite in the, in the world. Because, again, I don't know what we're doing with Pacquiao. Uh, Crawford's undefeated. I, I still think Crawford wins that fight. I still think he beats Thurman. Uh, but he has to make the fight. He's sitting there waiting for Kel Brook or, or Ray Robinson. I mean, these aren't fights anyone has any interest in. Kel Brook hasn't had a meaningful win in I don't know how long. What was Kel Brook's last meaningful win? Right? I mean, think about it. So forget Brook. Forget Ray Robinson. I mean, that's ridiculous. I don't even know who else they could offer you. Are you waiting for Virgil Ortiz? Make the Thurman, make the Thurman fight. Let Thurman sign the contract, right? If Thurman is, is isn't going to sign it, then call calls bluff. But I think he will. I think if you made him a legitimate offer, that fight will get made. When both guys want the fight, as we've just seen with Lopez and Loma, when we saw Wilder and Fury, when both guys want the fight, there's money to be made. That fight will get made. Keith Thurman, from what it seems like, wants this fight. So, if Terrence Crawford wants to fight, then both guys will want the fight, and it will get made. If it doesn't get made at this point, it's on, it's on Crawford, guys. I know I'm talking about Crawford being ducked. They won't fight Crawford. They won't come over. They, 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 they won't uh, mingle with, the, with, with top rank and Bob. Um, Keith Thurman is more than willing to make the fight. Make the fight. I mean, there's no reason not to. Terrence Crawford has no other attractive options. Right, it's it's like going to the prom, and even the ugly girls will go with you. But now you have this one girl who <laughs> who's a good date, who's a good prom date, and she wants to go with you. You're gonna tell her no? No, you have to go. That's where Ter- Crawford is at right now. Terrence Crawford has to take this. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments, thoughts below. Um, if Thurman's willing to budge off that ten million, do you think that? Do you think he's legitimate? Do you think Thurman legitimately wants this fight like I do? And if, if he does, do you think he'll budge off that $10 million and go to 6 or 7 And do you think that fight with Crawford can be made? And, and who would you pick to win? Leave your thoughts, comments below uh, from Texas. Oh, find me on all forms of social media. Find me uh 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, Instagram, Twitter. Um, listen to uh, the show on MCR Podcast with me, Matt Hunter, and UK Rob. And then uh, also find my article on Fight Post uh Dot UK, and we're going to do a piece um, on 3dboxingblog.com on this very topic. That should be up tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, It'll be up tomorrow on Crawford Thurman. So go to that 3dboxingblog.com. Uh, that's where you can find me at all forms of social media as well, 3D Boxing, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, all forms. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.